Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create three tables set up using Dollar Store product. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be beautiful, and you'll be able to set it up without spending lots of money. In this video, I also included for you five minutes tippy setup and decoration. After you watch the whole thing, please let me know in the comments below which of those tablescapes is your favorite. And now, let's get started. For our first tablescape, we will use this type of glass containers. They are very versatile and we will decorate with them every season. Let's fill this vase with white stones and candles. I already have another three containers ready. You can use the same foam containers as first one or mix it up like I did here. My next step is to add Dollar Tree roses. I bend them a little and then just wrap the container with roses. Continue arranging your flowers till your vases are covered with them. You might see there are empty spots here and there. You can always place a single rose to cover it. I also like to add some small roses or petals inside the vase. My son decided to help me to set the table for lunch. Sometimes he just loves to decorate with me. Beautiful tablescapes definitely helps to keep my children sitting at the table and explore different foods. I always use the same white plates. White plates goes with everything. They look clean, the colors really pop against the white. You can decorate white plates in so many ways. This time I choose to add a little touch of pink. I took a pink ribbon and wrapped my plates with it. Then you need to take a glue gun and glue both ends together and attach two pink flowers. I just finished setting up this table, the roses look beautiful, the pink color really pops against the white plate and now is the time to enjoy romantic dinner. Let me show you the setup number two that you can do with Dollar Store products. I had leftover green burlap material from my teepee, so I decided to use it in this tablescape. You'll also need greens and I bought this from Dollarama, which is the local dollar store where I live. I use six branches to create this look. Let's take two branches first and then put them hanging at the end of the table from each side. I secure them using the duct tape so that it won't fall down but they still hang nicely from the table. And then cover with the burlap. To add a little height to this arrangement, I used wine glasses. I turned them upside down and put candles on top. Then I decided to take a small votives that I got from a Dollar Tree. I had approximately 9 of them and just spread them evenly across the table. I've already used these votives in three different tablescape setups. Candles always make the table setting more beautiful. I chose to add a little touch to my table decor by using color lilies from my garden. I just cut a few of them and arranged them on the table. I love color lilies. It's very easy to look after those flowers. They bloom for a very long time and they look pretty. If you don't have color lilies, you can always use any elongated flowers. But don't use any big flowers, the tablescape will lose its elegance. To decorate my plates, I choose to cut more greens from my garden. We will make plates holder from them. It's gonna be so easy. Let's set up our wine glasses. Cheers, guys! There is one more thing that you can add to the side of the table. Just grab some more leaves, spread them at the corner and put tea lights on top. 
our table is ready to enjoy. Our tablescape is ready to enjoy. It looks fresh, elegant, and color lilies add a little touch of decorations. And now I'm gonna show you tablescape number three. I wanted to make this tablescape more fun, where a family with kids could spend time together to enjoy the summer. So I decided to build a super easy teepee. It will take you just five minutes or so to create it. I bought bamboo poles from Dollarama, they were $1.25 each. You will need five or six of them. Then I use a rope to attach them together, just like this. I also used duct tape, but you don't need to use duct tape if you don't have one at home. Then I took a curtains from my son's bedroom and slide them into the bamboo poles. It's so easy and there is no need to buy extra material for the teepee. You will also need some double-sided tape so you can attach your curtains to the bamboo. This double-sided tape is excellent. It holds curtains in place but it's also easy to remove it once my party is over. My curtains were not wide enough so that's why I have an opening there. You can either add another curtain if you like or keep the back part open for more breathability or just add pillows to cover the empty spot. Let's decorate this teepee. I use ferns and the same greens as from the previous tablescape set up to decorate this teepee. I added some more flowers to make it look pretty and more colorful. I also wanted to create a tablescape that matches the teepee. This time I choose a lower table set up so that it's more reachable for kids. I got this foam from a Dollar Tree and I cut it into 3 or 4 pieces. I arranged it on my coffee table in zigzag shape. I had dahlia flowers at home that I bought from a local dollar store. They are usually sold in a set of 5, so I just broke them down to a single flower and attached them to the foam. Dahlia flowers look so beautiful and you can always create more things with them. If you would like to see another video where I use dahlia flowers to create a large wreath, check this link at the top right corner. These purple flowers are also very pretty. They add more fullness to our tablescape. After you're done creating the flower zigzag, we can place our plates and cutlery. Let's add wine glasses and some large sunflowers to the middle of the plate. To make our last setup a bit more romantic, I decided to decorate this lantern, which I also got from a dollar store. Simply add some white stones, candles and flowers on the side. It's super easy and it adds a little touch to our setup. Let's add some comfy pillows to make it more cozy and let's party! Guys, we finished setting up three tablescapes and now we are ready to party! Please let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!